Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard about it and you've read about it. Humphrey Bogarts, the African queen. And now we're gonna go down and I'm gonna show it to you at close up and personal. There it is, the African queen. Let's go talk to the man who's polishing up the engine. We are at uh, Holiday Inn. Carl decided to uh, stay down at Holiday Inn. We were up in Homestead for a few days. And now we're in Key Largo. Personally, I don't think the price of the hotel is worth what we are. Uh, the, the cost of the price of the cost and the worth of the hotel but you know that's what he wanted to do so now the, the actual motor doesn't actually work anymore they use an outboard motor that's on the back of the boat but this guy's got the motor package unleashed there so let's see hello how are you today very well thank you this is in fact the original african queen oh i know that you don't remember me, do you? Oh yeah, how you doing? Mike Fazio. Yeah. I'm doing well. I, I, I don't remember your name. I'm Dave. Dave. Yeah, I, I used to have the house by the by the pilot house. Oh yeah. Next to the boat house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can I come down and make a video of the engine? Oh sure. Can make it down safely, man. Oh, I'm okay. What are you out? How you today? Uh, I, my camera gear. I'm a photo I do a lot of videos now. Oh, yeah. You're going to publish uh, YouTube or? Yeah, YouTube mostly. Okay. Cool. I have many videos of you going past my house. Okay. If you were operating the equipment. Yeah, I did a lot of dinner cruises there. Yes, sir. So your name is Dave yeah. what? I'm Dave Lawrence. Dave what? Lawrence. Dave I'm Mike Fazio. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. Um, I had that. Remember, I had all the backhoe equipment in the back of the all property. Right. That was me. Big shot contractor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 until they destroyed the economy. So, how many horsepower is this engine? Well, this is a, a ten horsepower diesel, two-cylinder two steam engine built in 1897, and she is uh, been rebuilt here in Key Largo. So she runs on steam, and it's 10 horsepower, two-cylinder. They say it's a two-cycle engine. And how do you make the steam? With diesel? Yeah, we do have a diesel tank up there and a Beckett hot water heater. Yeah, it's a, it's a machine right there. I can guarantee you, you get a nice ride on this boat with that motor. But you were using this boat yet, motor yesterday. I use it around the dock. The reason for ah. that is you have to shift this into reverse. There's no transmission. You have to stop the engine. And then you've got to put it, the bar, the shifting bar over there down, and then she'll start in reverse. So okay, so you use this little 20 horse motor to get you around? I can shift forward and reverse and put her on the, the dock very nicely. Yeah. You got a nice fuel transfer pump over there? Yeah. And then, uh, so this is a 10 horsepower steam. Uh, it's made by Sissons in Ireland. Sisson? S I S S O N S. F I S S O N S. S I S S O N S. Sissons family makes steam engines at the uh, turn of the century, right there. It's actually before 1900, 1897. It's older than the boat. Yeah, she's a good machine. A lot of people tell me when I saw the, they see the video, I have it up on my channel. Yeah. Oh, that's not the real African Queen. And I say, yeah, this is the real one. Yeah, the boat. Definitely the boat. Made in, in when? The 40s? No, she was built in 1912. 12, okay. Lethem St. Anne's in London, outside London. And so this must be like some really super high quality, like gun steel. Yeah, it's iron. It's iron. Built. The same vintage, because the movie's set in 1912. And the boat's built in 12. It's a proper steam vessel that's historically correct. So you want to make sure that uh, if you tell anybody about this boat, that this is the original hull. She's been repowered many times since 1912. In the movie, she actually had a gasoline engine. Okay. So they covered that with a plywood box, and then they put in a boiler and a steam motor, so she was historically correct for the time of the movie. The movie was made in 51. 
Okay. That's Catherine Hepburn as Rosie Sayer and Charlie Allnut. That's the, uh, he's a Canadian at that point in the film. So those two starred in it, Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn. So where did this, was this, what, what powered this boat in 1912? A steam, steam engine yeah. like this? See, by 1951, this was obsolete. There was a lot of weight, and it wasn't as efficient as a new gasoline engine. And she worked for the East Africa British Railroad Company there in the Congo on Lake Albert. That's where they filmed 80% of the motion picture. It was one of the earliest uh, color films that was actually made. And I have to remember the 50s. That was the heyday for movies. Yeah. That was the beginning. And you had these actors becoming famous and they're on the big screen. And that was Humphrey Bogart and, and certainly Catherine, Catherine Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn, for sure. Yeah. So you have a, a booking for tonight? No, we're just getting back. Uh, we, we, we went at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2, and 4. So we're getting back from our 4 o'clock trip. She was booked, heavily booked all day long. Uh, you don't have no more bookings for tonight? No. No, we're running those trips only now. So what, do you have a booking for tomorrow? I believe so. I have to check now because it changes. It'll change overnight. People actually book online. You go look up African Queen boat in Key Largo. And what's the service fee for that? Uh, $65 plus tax to get you on the boat for about an hour, hour Per person? Half. Per person, yeah. Okay. Bring your own uh, whatever you like. Your, Food, your gin yeah. Or no, we don't sandwich, drink. Sandwich, and we don't encourage a lot of alcohol. No, I don't people, drink. We don't drink. Some people have just a little something just to show. Like no, we don't. We don't drink. Well, thank you for the uh, infam. So, d you're still booking up at the Holiday Inn oh, with yeah. the, you, the man. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Carl about that. Okay, good. And can we, if we, if he wants to do it. What, now what book, what, what bookings do you have for tomorrow? I'm not certain. It'll come up on the computer screen uh, between now and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, you could check oh, it. okay. That's yeah. the only way. Not here now, anyway. Yeah, they closed the office, but everything's, a lot of it's done online. Now, let me give you a little cue. If you look up here at the whistle, you'll see... Uh, Water. You'll see some steam coming out of there, and the whistle will sound. pitch by adjusting this over here. Where do you burn the wood? That was in the movie. This boat runs on diesel fuel. Oh, okay. So that makes the hot water. This, this is, is very hot. An energy cell right here. Basically, you charge it up, get the steam pressure up. This is how we check the temperature. If you can't hold your hand on there, it's, it's too hot. To go. And then there's a gauge here to check the water level. That's critical water level and the pressure gauge. Those two things. Make, uh, make sure we get both of those. And then we just run it down the canal on steam power. Like That's 1896 motor right there. Well, it's, Ten. I, it's Irish. You can tell by the color. <laughs> 10 horsepower. If you look up Sissons. S-I-S-S-O-N-S. -S. Got it. And uh, yeah, this is what we do here to let the the steam out of the motor and get the water out of it. We open these up and that takes care of that. You know, that's how you bleed the cylinders off. And then we introduce the steam here. This is the uh, accelerator valve. If you, will. So if you want to make a proper cup of tea, we can arrange for it, but don't drink it. Right. It's just like in the movie. Yeah. Well, that was amazing. Dave Lawrence. Thank you for this. Uh, you this boat went past my house a hundred times. I've, I never, never thought. I thought I would live here forever, and I ended up moving to the Philippines. Yeah. How about that? Thank you. Hey. Haven't seen you in a while. This is the original African Queen, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a, a diesel-generated. Dave called it a fuel cell. It gen diesel diesel generates steam. Steam yeah. operates. It's a vertical tube boiler. It's new in uh, 2012. That was her 100 year birthday. 100 year rebuild? Yeah, Centennial. That, that is the, uh, the seal on the boiler. She's made up in Rhode Island. That was made for 50 This is for insulation yeah. and looks. Yeah. The wood. Wow. Put your uh, camera over the side here. You'll see this is 
procedure uh, that we do just to make sure, right over here, to make sure that all the debris is out of the box. The rust out of it, the same way you do a regular boiler, okay. from the iron in the boiler. Yeah. Wow, you gave me the full tour. Yeah. Thank you. We might do My this pleasure. tomorrow. We just might do this. Carl, you have. This is. If, if we don't do that, if so? if the uh, if the snorkeling, we could probably go on here. This is a nice ride. You know, just. Yeah, so now she comes out of the water. Uh, no, not quite. You go like under and around. <laughs> Dave Lawrence, I'm going to say thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Am I uh, signing uh, off? No, I just want to say thank you for the tour. I'm going to okay. sit here and talk to you for a few minutes about the Philippines. Okay. In case you're interested.